Welcome to Cyber Law Now. It's a podcast where technology meets consumer rights, the law, and cybersecurity, hosted by renowned attorney Stephen Tepler. Stephen is out this week, but we do have a privacy and security podcast for you. This is one of our favorite commando on demand podcasts about how to surf the internet without having Google track you. Enjoy. Every single second of every single day, Google processes, get this, over 40,000 searches. Amazing. Every single second. Over three and a half billion searches are done every single day. And some of the most common questions that we ask Google, it's kind of crazy. What time is it? Where's my phone? How do you change your Wi-Fi password? How old is Justin Bieber? What's on TV tonight? How do you boil hard-boiled eggs? (laughs) That's a tough one. Each of those questions are asked tens of thousands of times. When it comes to just a keyword, Millions of people every month turn to the search site. They type in things like rotten tomatoes, emojis, and Powerball. In fact, the word Google is the third most searched keyword in the world. Right behind, can you guess the top two? Well, number one is Facebook, and number two is YouTube. It's just six letters, colored blue, red, yellow, and green, embedded in our brains. The company is part of our routine, And it has us uttering the overused phrase of, well, I don't know, just Google it. Encyclopedias are long gone. The Dewey Decimal Library System. Do you remember that? Teenagers don't even know what it is. While Google started out as a search site, the company delivers us so many more things. Directions, cloud storage, of course, a lot of advertisements. They own YouTube, where over 300 hours of video are uploaded every single minute. We've become dependent on Google, and they're working on artificial intelligence. They want to have a future where AI could be everywhere and transform the world like never before. As we use Google, we give them the right to track us, to analyze us, and put us into certain categories. Have you ever wondered, does Google know just too much about me? Did I give up my privacy ages ago for the convenience of using one single site that indexes the world's information? Of course, there's a downside to having so much information instantly searchable on Google. You have to wrap your head around the fact that the internet never forgets. For everything you love about Google, you have to take a look at the flaws. For example, when you search, for example, how to make slime, when is the next James Bond movie, or what are the words to a certain song, Google is keeping track of all those inquiries. No matter how trivial your search is, Google is watching everything. Does it bother you that Google saves your search history? Should it? How annoyed are you about every click online being watched and tracked? Did you know that you can avoid Google and still find what you want online and not be tracked? Coming up in this podcast, I'm going to explain how you can take a break from Google's surveillance. You have a ton of alternatives. You do have a choice. I'm America's digital pro, Kim Commando. And if you're new to my podcast, I actually got a sarcastic note from somebody the other day. And they said, what makes you a digital pro? All right, smarty pants. I host the nation's largest radio show about all things digital, broadcast on over 400 top stations from coast to coast. I also have been a USA Today columnist for over 16 years now. I contribute to Fox News and a whole bunch more. And one day, I just decided that I would assume this role to be America's digital pro. And guess what? I'm it, and you're not. It can feel like Google's going to get you, doesn't it? The company knows a great deal about your interests through every inquiry you make at the site. Google may actually know you better than your mother, your spouse, or your best friend. Because let's just face it, you type stuff into Google that you really don't want anybody else to know that you're putting in there. Come on, I know that you've done it at least a few times. So just take a moment and check your Google account. If you're a dog person, if you like concerts, if you're in the real estate market, if you like sports cars, Based on your explorations, Google puts you into certain categories, your gender, your age, your interests. The page administers a profile. 
Now, on its privacy page, Google states that it's our goal to be clear about what information we collect so that you can make meaningful choices about how it's used. All right, that's nice. Google always records your activity. They use this information to sell advertising. That's how they make most of their money. The great news is that you can actually dig into Google and turn off some of those tracking features. But I'm going to offer you some steps on how to ditch Google altogether. The first option, get out of the Google spotlight and move to the duck side. Yes, I said the duck side. Did you know that private browsing doesn't help your privacy? Private browsing modes only prevent your computer from storing your history, while websites, governments, companies, and even other people can continue to track you. The first search site we're going to talk about is something called Duck.co. It sells itself to you with tight privacy controls. You get to fly under the radar while using the World Wide Web. Duck.go's promise is that it will keep your information private, not collect any identifiable information about you, and prevent personalized search results. So what's the big deal about personalized search results? Okay, the creators of DuckDuckGo claim personalized search results can lead to censorship. And so Google works to send you the content that the company believes you want based off your previous searches. You're not receiving everything that's available. In DuckDuckGo, it's not a complete goose chase. Did you get that? <laughs> to find information. You can fine-tune the settings just like any other search site. It's easy to customize your preferences. And each adjustment can help you gain more success in finding the information that you want. DuckDuckGo doesn't track your IP address, so what this means is no location criteria will be used. So you might not run into issues when looking for, say, a local boutique or ice cream shop. You have to specify that you're looking for a specific business in your area just to be on the safe side. And do remember that your search history is not followed. So don't expect the searches to be tailored to your past habits. If you spent hours last night researching about a private family situation, maybe something private only to you, or even the best summer vacation deals, it's all gone. It's all erased the next morning. Ducks are private creatures. They don't want to know about your medical issues or your financial details. They think that's the type of business that should be kept to yourself. Thank you very much. The DuckDuckGo search engine does come with other features that won't ruffle your feathers. Okay, I'll make it stop soon. You can customize the interface with search shortcuts, and there is an instant answers component. It's kind of like looking at Google's knowledge graph. But they're not ahead of the flock when it comes to search engines. Oh. I know, I just can't make it stop already. Admit it, you just smiled, though. You have to go in understanding that it's not Google. It takes some time adjusting. You may find yourself working a little bit harder to find more accurate or different keywords when researching something. But in the end, you're going to uncover what you're seeking. DuckDuckGo does operate in a pond of privacy, customization, and control. Plus, you won't be watched by advertisers and others. <laughs> Next up, if you need a quick way to search without being watched, you can also try a site called iXQuick. It touts itself as the world's most private search site. It doesn't record your browsing information or search history. The basic premise, it's a search site that knows virtually nothing about you. It's not a new site. They've been around for about 20 years. It's not going to compile any cookies, and they give you the freedom to actually anonymously browse websites. So if you always want to remain private and you relish the search by proxy feature, basically that means sites don't have any idea what IP address you're using, you're basically invisible as you go from site to site. The results look normal. Underneath each link description, you will see a proxy link too. Clicking it allows you to visit a website and remain secret. Now the downsides, pages, they're going to load a little slower because iXQuick has to go out and get them for you. If privacy is really important, the slower process is a small price to pay. Here's a quick example of how it all works. If I'm on iXQuick, I can search for Commando, my last name. The search results look just like Google's. I'm gonna get this big list of websites, but they come with options. Just click on the regular link and I'm on the website. But if I do this, the website can see me. My other option is that I can choose Highlight, 
All that means is I can quickly view the website's most basic information. I'm not actually visiting the site. I'm kind of just getting the insider cliff notes of what's inside. Or I can select proxy. I'm going incognito, and everything I look at is hush-hush. It's slower, but I'm undercover. The website can only see IXQuix's IP address and not mine, which means I can't be followed. Up next, why a free network to name for a vegetable could totally satisfy your privacy network and concerns. And what if you're not ready to cut the ties with Google? Well, I'm going to tell you why you need to kill the past before starting your future. So stay right where you are. I will follow you. The third browser to keep your information from being chased down might be the most private and sophisticated. It's called TOR, T-O-R. It's the acronym that means the onion router. TOR uses a special encryption software protocol. Data is first encrypted. It's then transferred through different parts of a network, creating this multi-layer encryption, which is kind of like, yes, you're with me, layers of an onion. So hence comes forth the name. Information is bounced back and forth through a global network of servers, each with its own IP address until ending up at the intended destination. It's kind of like your information, imagine this, is taking this cross-country flight with several random unannounced layovers to keep anyone from following you. Tor is perhaps the most secure option if you want to be anonymous. For over 15 years, it has this proven track record of being safe and secure. But this doesn't mean that you'll never be tracked down if you do anything legal. Tor is an entire system, tools, browsers, and networks dedicated to keeping you isolated. Now, I have to tell you, anytime I use Tor, I get frustrated because it slows down the search results and it just feels sluggish using the web. The software is free to download. And if you go to my website, commando.com, you can find more step-by-step directions for each of these sites how to use DuckDuckGo, how to use iXQuick, and also how to install and actually use the Tor browser. Like they say on late night television, but wait, there's more. Are you ready to break up with Google? Are you ready to stand tall? Not going back this time. You're not going to jump right into a relationship with a new search site. Your new affair is going to be private. The idea of Google knowing everything about you is menacing to some. So here's what you can do. Head into your Google account and start crossing things out. Look for the section titled My Activity and then look for Delete Activity By. Now, once there, the choices to eliminate are plenty. You can delete your history, one line item at a time. You can delete everything, you can delete by topic, or you can delete by date. Every couple of months, Go into your Google account and clear things up. The past cannot be changed, but with Google, you can maybe scratch some of it out. Now, every single day, I am working for you. That's right, I work for you, and you don't even pay me. I post the latest tech news, updates, scam alerts, medical issues, plus a huge list of our most trusted products all over my website at commando.com. I do this so that this way you have the knowledge to live a digital, responsible life. So take advantage of commando.com and be sure to join me every week for my national radio show. It's broadcast on 400 top stations from across the country. I take your calls and I will help you one-on-one. I'm there for you. Why? Because I'm Kim Commando, America's digital pro. 